to a person born in the 19th century, just one daily publication from a modern-day newspaper has more information inside of it to last them a lifetime. New technologies, smartphones, tablets, and social networks have changed the world in a way unknown so far, especially for the younger generation. On average, European teenagers spend nearly two hours in front of a screen of some sort. A recent report was even more alarming, noting that American teenagers spend up to nine hours a day connected to their social network profiles through different devices. Trying to fight this reality, which can be a position for some, I think is somewhat of a losing battle, when it is a reality that is increasingly present in our lives. When we talk about technology, there is a generational gap between parents and their children on many occasions. It may be that adolescents are better at managing social networks and the Internet. However, it is the parents who have to get with the times and teach their children about the responsibilities attributed to using the Internet. This will also serve as a preparation for the virtual world. With little ones, it is perhaps best and more useful to apply content filters in order to avoid certain pages. But not only that, the idea is to develop guidelines so that the filter is already within the child's mind. There must be a clear conversation with them in regards to the criteria for these filters. We must talk to them. This could also be used to prevent them from situations that may be dangerous for them, such as dealing with a cyber bully. Maybe it's good to ask an older child or an older cousin to be friends with that boy or girl on social networks. That way they can monitor what's happening. Experts remind us that the Internet is not the enemy nor something to fear. The Internet offers a world full of new possibilities where all you need to know is to navigate the web with the click of a button and the right tools.